let's start with you tonight. It looked like, you know, y'all have been really been rolling, and uh, especially, you know, three, like I'm going to do. It just seemed like y'all came out really aggressive tonight. What was kind of the – I guess at this point, you just want to make sure you kind of keep on in this – mode that you've been in the last four games, right? And you yep. just came out aggressive and taking the basket. Yeah, I think Coach Richard just used a good word with us in the locker room. He said, we have a good vibe about us. We're having fun out there. We're laughing um, in, a, in a constructive way. Um, we're having fun with playing with each other. We're having fun the way we're guarding. We're having fun the way we're shooting the ball. So we're just keeping that vibe when we're on the court, just a positivity and just having that same emotion and the same energy and it's carrying over from game to game, which is really good to see. So that's what I would say it contributes to just each game while we're kind of trying to start the same way. Just we're, we're just taking one energy from one game and carrying it to the next. Uh, Alex, has there been an inserted effort on defense mm -hmm. to communicate louder and more? Um, because it seems like from the beginning of the season, because it's where I sit, to now it's different mm -hmm. defensively. Yeah, I think um, our collective focus has been more generated towards defense as a whole. You know, um, I've been on a lot of teams here, and I can say this is the first team I feel like, and not to say this in a bad way, but the first team that's the whole team is bought into completely focusing on defense and putting their energy there and not worrying about the offensive end. And in turn, the ball's moving more and the ball's finding the guys who are have that mindset. So. That's why any given night you'll see a guy explode for however many points. And, you know, you may not be expected of him, but we got nine. It feels like we got nine starters at this point. You know, what coach calls it the nine-man nightmare. And, you know, it's real. So we're just going to try to keep improving and building on that. Something that is easily said but not as easily done is that one thing in the last five games y'all have had is a knack for going to the people who are on you. Mm -hmm. And people who are not on giving the ball up. I mean, it's hard if you mm -hmm. if you got that little psyche edge. If you can sense that, mm -hmm. it's a mini splendid thing. I mean, there has to be something. There's something. There's something. There's a little bit of voodoo in that. <laughs> yeah, you got it. I'll just say, um, at halftime we had 17 assists and two turnovers. And um, I don't, I don't know if there's any team in the country that you can point out that's doing that. We just had uh, Jordan Kasky, who's been fighting a battle with cancer, come in into this game, and that was a very um, thing he said to us that we kind of ruined college basketball for him because <laughs> he's not seeing anybody else when he watch when he's sitting at home in his fight watching these other games share the ball the way we do. And I just, I just think we just take pride in that, and that's just one thing that, like I said, the vibe that we create. When we're just sharing the ball, having fun with each other, making sure we all feel involved in the game. And that goes to the nine-man nightmare. Mm -hmm. We all trust each other, and we all feel like everyone on the court is just as capable as we are. So mm -hmm. when we're out there, the ball just moves, and we just try to get the best pop possible shot every possession. Alex, we're uh, now in February of your final year. Yeah. After you know, 20 years or however long. <laughs> <laughs> um, but – I'm going to ask you kind of like an end of the season thing mm -hmm. right now, just because just I just want your feedback from it. Y'all won five games in a row by at least 15 points. That happened in 2018, mm -hmm. February. It, of all the good things y'all have done the past few years, is this the most locked in from top to bottom you feel personally that mm -hmm. this team has been, um, just team-wise? Yep. Of all the good things that y'all have experienced over the last few years, mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all have ever played t quite to this level throughout the team. Can you kind of speak to that? Yeah, um, I think you hit it, the nail on the head. Um, like, we're locked in. And that work that everyone on this team has put in is just coming into fruition. Like, this work was put in in the summertime. And I saw plenty of guys, young guys, uh, Jalen Pegues, Joe Anderson, like, in the gym just as much as I am. Obviously, Mike and Slaw and them guys are going do that because they're older, we're older veterans. But to see that and to have a younger guy pushing me, that was a new feeling and that was a, a, a big time experience. And um, I think it's just, you know, it's showing. And uh, in the past, I felt like we've peaked early. You know, that 2018-19 team was a fun team to be on, but we started off hot and then we kind of had a lull. I feel like we're getting hot at the right time and 
we're just going to keep trending in that right direction and whatever happens we can live with but i got a good feeling that it, something good is going to happen so this is a, a game where i mean you're playing so well and one thing that separates this in many ways is the number of, is the depth is the number of people who are playing some people have suggested that the fact that y'all played five to seven people played seven people a lot of times contributed to maybe some weariness at the end of the year and it seems like to me that there's not going to be any of that this time yeah, Coach Richie has definitely <laughs> emphasized that this year, and that's something he committed to us probably since the first day of practice. He said, we're going to try to play more guys this year. We're not going to have musical chairs with the bench. We're going to be have no guys are going to know their role and know what they're expected to do night in and night out. And in the beginning of the year, it might not have shown as much, but um, with uh, the freshmen we're playing, we're playing – Coach Richie says two freshmen, two COVID freshmen off the bench. So it's take them a little bit of time. But now that we're deep in conference play, they're very confident when they come off the bench. This is the second game in a row where two bench players have been one, two of the leading scorers. And that just shows that they're c coming in in their role. They're feeling very confident at night in and night out. So yeah, the depth is really paying off. And it's something that we ha it's a luxury that we haven't had in the years mm -hmm. past. And it's been paying off um, in January and February so far, so we got to keep it up in March. Alex, uh, you know, you started out this season so hot, mm -hmm. and then you had that, that scary spill. Yep. And then, you know, it, you've had some good games, but it seemed like you might have missed a few mm -hmm. shots to start out. Mm -hmm. What was to, was tonight kind of like, did you kind of feel something different tonight, with just seeing the ball go in right off the bat like you did tonight? Yeah. Um, you know, I was just – honestly, I was just in my head a lot about how I was shooting the ball. And um, like I said, this team is built on putting our energy in, de on, in on defense. And whatever happens offensively, like, it's going to free you up. And Coach came in in pregame today and was like – he made a point of, like, just focus on flying around, getting deflections, getting steals, and I promise you the ball is going to find you. And sure enough, like, when you play free of mind, that's what I was doing back in November and December. And now that I'm just trying to put more emphasis on just playing free and flying around and moving the ball. And I know it's going to come back to me because this team's so unselfish. So, you know, but it was nice seeing, seeing those go in. But I credit Coach and the team for just, you know, keep continuing to believe in me. And, uh, you know, like I said, the ball's going to find who it needs to. <laughs>